Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadia Razila. I'm from the Informat Komrol. So today, I'm going to present about a key and natural of creative unknown. Okay, so for projection of a P, uh, this radar graph is a P projection of radius ulna. I see so because the epicondyle of humerus are seen bilaterally in same size. No superimposition of radius and ulna distally, uh, which is here. And wrist is included at the superior border, and elbow joint is included at the inferior border. So for lateral, this radiograph is lateral projection of radius ulna. I see so because the epicondyle of humerus are superimposed, which is this one. Uh, head of ulna superimposed over the radius. Uh, wrist is included at the superior border, and elbow joint is included at the inferior border. Uh, positioning for AP, radial styloid is demonstrated in profile laterally. This one is radial styloid. A radial tuberosity is demonstrated in profile medially. This one is radial tuberosity. A radius and ulna seen bilaterally. Minimal superimposition of metacarpal bases and radius ulna. And long edges of radius ulna aligned with long edges of IR. So how we want to know that there is any rotation? There is has any rotation. So for external rotation for distal, um, carpal bones and metacarpal bases located on the medial aspect of the wrist are superimposed. So if if it has external rotation, carpal bones and metacarpal bases are superimposed at the medial aspect. This one is medial aspect. This one is lateral aspect. Lateral aspect is thumb. Thumb is lateral aspect. So this one is medial aspect. So for internal rotation, carpal bones and metacarpal bases located on the lateral aspect are superimposed. So for proximal, uh, for internal rotation, radial head and radial tuberosity superimposed with ulna less than 0.6 cm. Uh, this one is radial head and this one is radial tuberosity. So internal rotation, radial head and radial tuberosity superimposed with ulna more than 0.6 cm. So uh, the positioning for this projection is incorrect. It is have it has rotation at proximal. This one is proximal, uh, which is external rotation. Uh, so to improve this, rotate per arm internally until the epicondyle of humerus are equal distance from the cassette. It also has rotation at distal, that is ulna, which is internal rotation. It is because carpal bones and metacarpal bases located on the lateral aspect uh, superimposed. So to improve this, rotate the hand externally until the both pilot process are equal distance from the facet. So positioning for lateral, distal scaphoid and pisiform are aligned. This one is pisiform, this one is this is like distal scaphoid. Uh, distal radius and ulna superimposed, this one is distal radius and ulna superimposed. Alna styloid is demonstrated in profile posteriorly. So this one is alna styloid. Elbow joint is open. Radial head superimposed with coronary process. This one is radial head. Uh, and this one is coronary process. And radial tuberosity not in profile, superimposed uh, with radius. Um, so uh, for distal, distal radius ulna, uh, for external rotation, distal scaphoid is visualized posterior to PC form. Uh, the other criteria that we can evaluate is radius visualized posterior to ulna. So for internal rotation, distal scaphoid is visualized anterior to the 
to the PC form and radius visualize anterior to ulna. So for proximal, uh, humerus elevated. So if humerus was elevated, humerus is elevated, radial head posterior to coronite. Uh, and if humerus lower, uh, radial head anterior to coronite. So for positioning for this projection, is correct for distal. So this uh, positioning for uh, this part is correct. But humerus was elevated at the proximal. Um, so um, to improve this, lower the proximal humerus until humeral epicondyle are superimposed and humerus is positioned parallel with IR. So alignment for AP. Um, alignment between S3 tube and CASA is cannot be determined because no evidence of collimation on all four border of film. Passion and CASA is incorrect because the distance between the central structure to the edge of the film is not equal and X-ray tube and patient uh, is cannot be determined because there is no evidence of collimation on four border of collimation. And the centering point for this radiograph is cannot be determined because it has no four border of collimation and standard centering point for this projection is should be at mid shaft of radius ulna. So alignment for lateral, uh, X-ray tube and cassette cannot be determined because no evidence of poor collimation. Uh, patient and cassette um, cannot uh, incorrect. It is because the distance between the central structure to the edge of the film is not equal, and X-ray tube and patient is cannot be determined because no evidence of collimation for all for border of collimation and centering point for this radiograph is cannot be determined and the cent standard centering point for this projection should be at the shaft of radius ulna so for collimation um, at the superior border the structure should be include or raised metacarpal basis and radio ulna joint this one at the inferior border olecranal process this one uh, olecranal fossa and distal humerus this one and at the lateral side uh, the structure that should be include a radius ulna and for arms of tissue so for lateral uh, the structure that should be in, should be include are the suspicoid, uh, PC form, and metacarpal basis at the inferior border, elbow joints, olecranon process, and coronal process at the lateral side, radius, ulna, and also for arms of tissue. So for exposure factor for AP, um. For contrast, uh, bony cortical outline of thin structure which is ulna styloid. This one is ulna styloid, uh, can be seen. And a bony cortical outline of olecranon process, this one, uh, can be seen. So, uh, KBP use is adequate and no change needed. Uh, so for density, bony trabecular pattern of uh, thin structure which is ulna styloid can be seen and bony trabecular pattern of uh, thick structure which is olecranon process can be seen. So uh, MAS is adequate and no change needed. So uh, for lateral, uh, bony cortical outline and uh, uh, thin structure can be seen, which is ulna styloid. And contrast for uh, thick structure, which is bony cortical outline uh, of olecranon process, can be seen. So, uh, 
uh, can it be used is adequate and no change needed. And density for density, bony chubby cooler pattern of uh, anastyloid, which is the uh, thin structure, uh, can be seen. And for thick structure, which is bony chubby cooler pattern of olecranon process, can be seen. So, and the S is also adequate. So for marker, there is evidence of number marker for AP. For AP first, there is evidence of number marker correctly placed on the right side of the forearm, placed inappropriately because the annotation of the marker is incorrect, and no superimpose, not superimpose any region of interest. So uh, for lateral. Uh, there is evidence of number marker correctly placed on the right side of the forearm, placed inappropriately because the, the annotation of the marker is incorrect and not superimposed any region of interest. So for aesthetic, the size of the pilum is 3543, which is sufficient to demonstrate all the structure of interest. And there is evidence of external artifact. On the radiograph, which is cluster of berries, this one. So for lateral, the size of the pilum is 3543, which is sufficient to demonstrate all the structure of interest, and there is no evidence of artifact. So name, um, for a P perception, there is no evidence of patient's identification place and date of examination. For lateral, there is no evidence of patient identification, place and date of examination. So conclusion, uh, for AP, the graph is not acceptable because no patient identification, no date and place of examination, no collimation, and there is evidence of rotation. And for lateral, the radiograph is not acceptable. It is because no patient identification, no date and place of examination, no collimation, and there is evidence of rotation. So I think that's all from me. Thank you.